Greetings! My name is Gordon Freeman, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to Black Mesa, where no matter how no matter how often I think my expectations are flatlined, this, these people still keep managing to find new lows. Yo. I think I've got a slightly more important things to watch out for than forklifts. Thank you very much. Ah. Oddly weak box. How am I gonna... Oh. That worked. Really though, I don't think under any circumstances is a electric fence supposed to spark like that. Like there was just straight up fucking bolts of electricity going to and fro. That doesn't seem right. Then again, why am I expecting anything other than other the Why am I expecting anything really from Black Mesa? That's an ominous figure. Hi. Yep, that's an alien if I ever saw one. It's like the sort of thing they'd see fucking invading Earth in, in sci-fi series or whatever. Ooh, gas. Sounds fun. Mm. Does that make me alien Hitler? I hope not. Uh, I mean, I, I mean his. Be uh, I mean, I admit his mustache is very stylish, but other than that, nah. I mean, I'd be. An, I'd have. I mean, I'd be an artist, you know, and there's few things in this world that I have more disdain for. Uh... Ooh, what's this? I beg your pardon? What are we- what is it firing out of there? Gerbils? What the fuck? Uh. Ah, damn it. Emergency Tesla discharge. Now that sounds like something fun. What? Oh, it's some little bug thing. Z... What does that say? Xenian species? Xenian species X0112. Xenian? What the fuck? Xenian as in Xena? Warrior princess? What the fuck is going on around here? Nina 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 Nina
Oh, hey! It's that bozo. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, right. Door release. Ooh, emergency Tesla discharge. Yeah. Yeah! Science! Now this is the sort of thing I signed up to do! Fucking A! Not push samples around, not... Fuck, it, fuck around with... With resonance cascades and shit, no! Fucking evaporate... Monstrosities with a fucking Tesla cannon! Oh yes! You're next. <sighs> killed, uh, killed at the urinal. What a sad fate. Well, could be worse. At least you didn't die with your cock out. That would be a tragic position to spend the rest of your death. Oh, hey! Um. Hey. Hey, buddy. That was a bit rude. It ain't no good up there. It's all sealed off. The only way out would be oh. to find someone with scanner access who can open the front door. Why are you... I'm pretty sure there's a few scientists hiding out somewhere in the labs. Maybe with the both of us looking, we can track them down and get them to let us out of here. Sounds good. Coming? Ready when you are, Doc. Alright. Uh, come from here. Oh, I came from here, damn it. <laughs> Alright then. What's that sign say? Latin. Oh. Foreigners. <laughs> Are you deaf? What? Good shot, Doc. Wow, those people were impressively stupid. What the fuck was that? Oh, shit. Not my best throw. Shit! Don't forget to reload. Shut up! Whatever. As heretical as it sounds, explosives are not always the solution to your problems. Ooh, yes! Speaking of reunions with old friends... You know that thing called motion? Let's get a little bit of that going. Shut up! And it's my little dart gun. 
Oh so. yeah. It's like the gang's all here, isn't it? Yeah, seems like it. Where'd you where'd you go? Oh I have no idea what we're doing. Evidently, you since you can't figure out how to operate a door. Then again, I have no idea what we're doing either. I just know that we're doing. Ow. Watch your head, Doc. Don't worry about my head. Don't worry about yours. Oh. My bad, Doc. Indeed. I'll be able to get workmen's comp. <laughs> I don't turn. Uh, I highly doubt it. But hey, if you if we survive this, feel free to fly. Fuck. Oh my god, shot. Oh, this thing is a beaut. I guess when you're when you're de designing things to punch right through heavily armored alien specimens, Kevlar isn't exactly the hardest thing to get through. Oh, really? How was that supposed to stop me? Oh, don't! Don't run into the fire like that! Oh, what the fuck is- Ah, it's those weird aliens I, was, I saw earlier, but armored. And with... Whatever the fuck that is. Some kind of weapon, I think. Keep thinking you're about to say something profound. Shut up. That implies intelligence. So, yeah. That whole invasion theory certainly things, right? got more evidence than before, but actually no, I don't think it's us that are the inva- I don't think it's them that are the invaders, I think it's us, honestly. We've been snatching specimens, including those guys who- I mean, they got armor, they're probably intelligent, or at least are supported by something that is. Let's see what's down here. And- why do we even have something like I'll this? What is this? We just found our scientists. What? What am I looking at? Front door is an option. I'll tell you what. I'll stick around here and keep an eye on them. If you want to go find a way to bust them out of there. You do that. Don't get too lost, huh? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think we we just were like go found. We were like found some way to like bust our way into some other world or other like other planet or universe or whatever we were doing as part of our teleportation experiments and then we just started snatching shit and then we were surprised when things went horribly wrong even though so some of these guys are probably intelligent it certainly seem intelligent Hi. I guess we managed to tame some as well. For a given value of tame. Huh. Yeah. I, I'd say we do. Uh, I'd say with. Bonehead decisions like that, we deserve what we get. But let's be honest, like, n none of the people who were actually involved with the decisions actually you know, are actually gonna get screwed over by this, are they? Like, m most of the people getting killed in the streets are just random bozo scientists who got orders thrown high to do stupid shit and all that nonsense. Because, yeah. 
I'm the government. I'm the government. I'm the reason nothing works. That's why I'm here after all, isn't it? Oh. Don't look at me. Oh, hi. Kind of expected you to die from that. Oh, this shotgun is so unreliable. Look at that. Sometimes a point, good point blank shot will just... Nail, uh, throw it to pieces. Sometimes it just does nothing. Or, not nothing, but you know what I mean. Shit. At least this is reliable. Oh yeah, baby. Ooh, laser caution. What is this thing? Huh? Some kind of weapon? Yeah. Oh, man. Seems like it. It's a prototype. Why are we using this thing? It's much too unpredictable. Don't let it overcharge. Oh, what do you mean overcharge? What do you think he meant to overcharge? You dumb bitch. <laughs> Two smoking shoes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is just straight up Looney Tunes rules, isn't it? Well. I'll be, I'll certainly be slightly more responsible with this than that guy was. Oh, yeah. Let's check out its features. Where are targets, targets, targets. Where are some targets? Hi. Boom, baby. Oh, I need to get me some more ammo. And here's some more ammo. Ask and ye shall receive. Now this, this is science. Did I just kill one by throwing that at it? I swear I saw one fall to Gibbs just by getting hit by the packet of explosives. That was peculiar. And by the way, that smart, uh, that, uh, that smart music system they installed into this suit, worth every penny. There was that w that awkward period of time where it was uh, where it was a bit where it wasn't quite properly tuned, and I was getting stuff like uh, having uh, having it do epic battle music while I was slicing bread. But hey, uh, whoops! This existential threat. What do you mean, existential dread? Is it gonna make me question my outlook on reality or something? Let's see. What's this then? Ooh. 
Oh yeah! Star Wars, baby! Oh, now that's a beautiful sight. Yeesh. Now, it's a good thing I'm wearing a GV suit, otherwise this would be quite painful. As it stands... Well, this suit is rated for much worse. Could we jump in that furnace and be fine? What a time for a loading screen. Hey! A fellow scientist. Oh, I... thank God. Yep. Gordon yeah, Freeman's my name. Before those military drones figure out where we're hiding. There are drones? We all have retinal oh, you mean the soldiers. Access. If you escort us to the lobby, we can finally get out of this damn lab. All right. Sweet. Yes, but you'll have to shut down the surgical unit first. Cool surgical unit. On, but I'm afraid he never made it back. <laughs> yeah. What? Why do we even have a thing that's just like... Spinning around and slashing like the surgical unit apparently. Oh. What the fuck kind of surgical unit is that? Oh well. It'd be fairly simple to just not get hit by it. Yeah, I don't know how he got got, especially right dead in the nice center like that. Doc. Yes, fantastic. All right. All right, folks, let's get the hell out of here. Quite so. Damn, that was a close shave. Was it? I guess. Hey. On your left. I guess I was on his right, actually. Let's go to the lobby. Let's go to the lobby. Let's go to the lobby and have ourselves a snack. Come on, guys. Wait, wait. What? What, what is it? Anyone else think this was a bit too easy? <laughs> don't say not that. Right. Gordon, you don't mind taking a look, do you? We'll stay here for a moment. Sure, babies. <laughs> there's nothing. Uh, I'm sure there's absolutely nothing out there, and we're perfectly fine. Any day now. Any day now. You gonna open the door? Eventually. Okay, fine. See? It's all perfectly. Hey. Absolutely nothing to be worried about whatsoever. I don't know what you're talking about. There is no danger here. Not even the slightest fucking roadblock whatsoever. And certainly not anything that could threaten the life of even a fly. <laughs> Much less a free man. Nothing whatsoever to fear. Why were you were even afraid? What? What did I do? God, it's hell out there. The facility must be under complete military control. You'll have to sneak and fight your Not this section. I don't expect you'll meet many of our peers along the way. If you somehow survive long enough to make it across the base, You'll find the labs where the rest of the science team has taken shelter. I couldn't dare risk venturing out there. Was can inform those of us who remain in the Lambda complex that you are coming. Now, don't go running pell mell into this bloody war zone. With that suit, the odds are stacked against you. 
If you simply stay out of sight and Don't never tell me the odds. Just live to see the Lambda Labs. All right, then. You're the resident expert on surviving out here, then. Afraid this is where we part ways. Was. I'm gonna hang back a bit and help out these two. Oh, fair Take enough. Take care of yourself out there, huh? Well, that's what I'm good at. Hmm. All right, then. Stick by and don't go running out there willy-nilly, all right? No, nope. I said don't go running out there willy-nilly. Really Damn it. Oh, hi. God damn. Some people just can't survive the sl uh, the most perfectly safe of areas, you know? I don't understand these people. I did that. Actually, hang on, wasn't he the guy that was saying that everything that was that everything seemed too easy and that we should be careful or something? And then he goes and runs out in the middle of this place before letting me clear it out and then get shot that's some irony for you irony seems to be the leading cause of death around here lately oh well well this seems like an appropriate point to, to stop for now Got a cool, we've got a cool n new gun, a science gun at that. And we've been reunited with all our past friends. And we're continuing to traipse through this perfectly safe and completely unhazardous environment. With only a few small tripping hazards in the way. And we're headed to the Lambda Labs, apparently. As, we, as I mentioned before, I believe. I don't know what the... I don't know what the deal with this, that is. Presumably, they're the ones we're experimenting with te teleportation and all that shit. And in, and in that way, cause this whole mess. Although, like I said before, I mostly blame the government for that. Ooh, hang on. Uh, so yeah, this does seem to be the pl the way that the world is pushing me towards. Well, I say pushing me, more like funneling me towards, since it's the only way forward at any given time. So I guess I could climb those cliffs. Well, no sense uh, abandoning the path that the, that the world has sent me upon. Uh, as I say, you know, there's the easy way, the hard way, and the very hard way. Uh, that would be the very hard way. But, until next time, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And, rem and remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you for some reason subscribed, and leave an nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. Daily light shines